I'm going to show you guys an ankle pick next. Uh, a few different ways of setting it up. This is the most common setup. It's a, it's a move that's not utilized a lot in jiu-jitsu. People, a lot of times, they fear they're going to get arm barred in this move. But anytime, I mean, potentially get flying arm barred, but it's very unlikely to happen. That would have to be very quick about the timing. But as long as you finish on your feet, you're for the most part really safe. There's not much you can do about it. The mistake people make is that a lot of times they finish this take down on their knees, and that's what you'd want to avoid. You always want to try to finish on both your feet. Uh, the better posture you have, the better, okay? So what I want initially is I want a wrist control, and I'm just gonna be cupping the back of his neck. So I'm walking around with my opponent. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull this wrist and take a step back, just to force him to step. All I'm looking to do is get him to take a step forward with that right leg right there. So I'm hanging on his neck, I'm holding onto his wrist, right there. Once I get him to take that step, all I gotta do is I'm gonna let go of that wrist and then a quick little level change. Notice that when I level change, I bring his head down with me. So it's not, I'm not pushing his head, I'm just bringing that head towards his foot. And I hold on to that ankle. Notice that I'm holding on onto his calf, onto his knee, the back of his ankle. My left hand is touching the ground. And now I'm gonna stand up. As I stand up, I'm gonna pick that ankle off the ground, and I'm gonna push his head to the ground. Notice that I finished standing. There's no arm bar here. A lot of people will finish this move here. And that's why some people are scared of, just turn over, scared of maybe getting an arm bar. They could potentially get arm bar if your arm's that extending, that you extended. But so as soon as he hits the ground, let go of the neck. You don't need the neck anymore. And make sure you finish standing so it's highly unlikely he's gonna catch you up there, okay? It's actually really unlikely for you to get arm bar so long as you do it right. Okay, so one more time. Very important, guys, that I'm hanging on the neck heavy. And then when I take him down, I am, it's almost like I'm pushing him that way. So I'm gonna sweep the foot this way and I'm gonna push his head that way. So I'm doing this right here to his body. And that's what makes the takedown. So do it one more time. Change, change in positions with him here, I'm heavy on the neck. I take a step. As soon as he step, it's a quick little level change. You don't necessarily have to hit a knee, but you know, you always can. You can just reach, but you can always, in case he's not this close, you can always hit a knee. But if you can reach without hitting the knee, it will be the same, exact same technique. Notice it's almost like a turning motion as I take him down. It's not straight back, it's, I'm doing like I'm clear and I'm like a steering wheel. I pick the ankle this way and I push the head in the opposite direction. One more time. I'm still holding on to his ankle. I finish in his guard, easy takedown. So from a different angle now. See how I'm pushing his head down? Like, it's almost like a clubbing motion. I have to get him off balance by doing this right here to his head. And at the same time, I pick that foot off the ground. So let's call it an ankle pick. Guys, once again, try to keep your, your hand as low as possible. You don't want to reach it for the calf or the back of the knee. You want to be holding the heel or his Achilles heel. Uh, just to make sure he doesn't sprawl on you. Okay, so one more time. Moving around nice and easy. Once I get in the step, picking up that ankle, make sure he doesn't scramble.